This is a three-way elimination match. Making his way to the ring from Japan, heart and soul. Takumi Hojoji. And his opponent from South Africa, the Transfixer, Mungu Wabahadi. And their opponent, ranked two in the heavyweight division from Japan. Bottomless power, Shingo Shigehara. The referee for this match, Van Perry. Fight. And here we go, starting off, everybody. Opening match, opening match, everyone. Hopefully, uh, I don't blow your eardrums out. <clears throat> Oh man, 45 minute time limit. Matter of fact, my voice is in the red, so I'm gonna drop this down. I'm gonna drop it down because I am not gonna try to hurt your ears. Y'all wanna play the loud music that, you, that that normal human ears would not be able to take ass on you, do you boo? But uh, I'm not gonna contribute to your hear loss. <laughs> All right. Double suplex to the outside, forearm to the back. Ooh, kick him right in the right in the head, knocking him over. Oh, let's see here. Hey, hey look, Takumi Hojoji and Shingo Shigahara, they have worked their way up uh, since Typhoon's end, since that big event. You know, they they've been working their way up the heavy heavyweight slots again. They're both former heavyweight champions. Mungu Wabahari has yet to feel the leather and the gold around her waist. And since she got here, she has been a major contender for that title. You know, she, she's been here for, um, I don't want to get wrong, the better part of six or eight months. And she stayed in that top ten. Matter of fact, she's multiple split. Oh, got him. She stayed roughly in the top 10, top 8 section, primarily staying at rank 2. Losing it here and there. She's been in, I think, maybe one big event uh, for a title. Lost. Lost, you know, obviously losing efforts. You, you've never seen the, the placard. You've never seen the, the orange frame, the title openings of her. So she's never won it. But. I mean, her day will come one day. I mean, she's gonna have to get past these two juggernauts. These two juggernauts, she's got to get past them. You know, she's defeated Takumi, lost to Shingo. Oh man, stretch plum right there. That standing version, multiple chops. The machine gun chops by Shingo onto Mungu Wabahari. Got him in the corner, stomping, stomping, stomping down. Oh, she broke that up. Backslide. Oh, kicking him right in the ass. Single leg back. Oh, no, a time to drop, back drop combination by Shingo. Rapid chops, and then got chopped in the back. Go behind. Man, nice double elbow, knockdown. Kick him in the face, build him over. Man, the action's all over the place right here. Got her up for the suplex. It's to the outside, she tumbles. Guillotine drop. What in the world? Man pulling a Matt Hardy, ain't he? One. Just teleporting all over the place. That's, that, that, that's going to be the last time I even say, say something about that. I'm, this is a sport, everybody. This is a sport. You know, we ain't trying to pass something off as a sport and then give you garbage. This is sport. Not sports entertainment. This is a sport. This is combat. This is battle. This is professional wrestling. We got some of the best in here. 
I mean, look at him. Rank two, rank three, and rank four. And the only one that's rank one, that's Daylight, the current CR Fire Pro heavyweight champion. This ain't do or die. No way. That is for the championship. Because <laughs> whoever loses goes to the bottom of the ranks. Kicking right in the face that Benoit style taunt by Shingo. Punches. Nope. Like we're gonna go back and forth. She goes like, no, nah, I'm trying to pin this dude. The Mikoshi boys are not acting like the Mikoshi boys. They are certainly opponents today. They're letting y'all know Crashing Sea Storm Surge Tournament 2020 is over. We are in competition for that singles title. We're gonna get it. That's what they're saying. Oh, he's like, bring it. Like, bring it. Elbows. Off those ropes, he went to shoulder block. Bahati broke that up. Multiple standing switches. And I mean, good grief, pushed him to the corner. Man, strong hip toss goes for the pin one. one. Hoping, those, hoping those standing switches would, would, would tire her out, but no. Nope, got me giddy miss. Stomp. Go behind. Cobra twist. Toe kick. German suplex from ground. Chop from ground. Elbows on the feet. More elbows on the feet. Man, Takumi's like, look, I'm here to battle. Oh, nice line front leg lariat. Hyping himself up. Like, got her up. Rolling down, thunder. Push him to the corner. Trying to get a hold of her, knowing that she is hurt. Net break a drop. She goes like, bring it on. That's that, that yep, that's a legal choke. You cannot place your form across the windpipe to think it's gonna be okay. She goes like you need to pay attention to me. Back and forth they go battling. Look at the warriors do it. There you go. Going back and forth with them chops. Standing switches. Standing switch. Bahari and, and Takumi, man, they always jock for position like that. That is amazing. Now normally, you know, Takumi Hojoji and Shingo Shigahara usually put on some of the greatest damn matches you'll ever see. And at the same time, Mungawa Bahari, she, she does all right. But you know, Takumi and Shingo, that's a guaranteed great match. You know, we're seeing, you know, Mungawa Bahari kind of bring it. Another rolling down thunder on her guillotine drop to ass up to injury. Circles around. Everyone keep pushing to that left corner. She says, that's over. No, he got up. He said, uh-uh, I got that scouted. Got her up again. The third rolling down thunder. He's like, what's it going to take to put this woman down? Get her off my back. He is strongly, Takumi is strongly trying to keep it. That is he and Shingo. And Mungu Bahari is like, look, you're not going to forget me. She shoots on him. Tackles him. He says, get off me. I don't play that game. Figure four leg lock is applied. Give up. Give up. No. Takumi, extremely well-rounded submission, technical, a little bit of power. German suplex hold from the ground. He says, no. Goes for the cover. One, two. Not yet. Not yet. That German suplex might have done it. Got him up. No. Reversal on the suplex. One of his own. Elbow to the back. Got him up. Transfixational pain. Nailed it. Kicked in the back. Got him up. Like, this ain't over. Rolling down thunder on the Shigahara at one, and finally. Shingo san tasting a little bit of the, the pain. Tilt the world, course through two stone power driver. Bahari down. Small it package on Shingo. Oh, and save at the last second. I don't know why. I would have let that pin happen on the one that beat me and then try to beat the one that I have beaten in the past. That would have been the best strategy. Oh, they're both feeling it. But will he interrupt? Will he interrupt? Yes, he will. They do not want Bahati to be at rank two again. Cobra twist and save. The Mikoshi boys keep saving each other. I mean, good grief. A Tommy drop. Backdrop combination by Shingo. She got him down. He says, get up off me. I don't play that either. Rolling cops to get a chop right at the neck. 
right at the side of the net. Oh, you got away from that kick. Shingo to the middle of the ring with Bahati. Tell him to bring it while she got stomped by Takumi, who does a triple world tombstone power driver on Shingo. Backslide on Bahati. Shingo stunned. And no, she kicks out. Oh, punched him back in the head. German took off the ground while Shingo is down. Two, three. Having a sacrifice just to get him out of there. Will she get revenge? Will she defeat the one that, that knocked her down to rank three? Takumi Hojoji is out. It is down to Mungawa Bahari. Shingo Shigahara. She shoots on. She said, he says, nope, bashes her off. That double up kick to knock somebody off. Shoots her to the outside. No, there's no count on in this. She's got all day to rest. Gets back in the ring. No weapon game. Good. He says, come here. Kyle Driver. He says, come on, Lariat time. We haven't seen this yet. Oh, watch out, Van. Lariato. That's what put her down the first time. That's what got him ranked two. Can he get it again? No. No, she kicks out. Mungu Wabahari is still alive in this. He says, come here. This will do it. Cross off. Fire Thunder Power Bomb. Two. No. 20 minutes gone by. Slightly under halfway through this match. Back over the chops and punches. Rolling elbow. He gets up. Rolling lariat. He's getting up. He picks her up. It's just down to these two again. As I said, folks, it was a three-way elimination match. We have two remaining. He's to the outside. She's taking her rest. Seems like she's got enough wind back in the lungs. She was, she, yeah, she's ready. She's ready, but how ready can she be against bottomless power? She's transfixed on winning. Can it happen? And, and not at that moment. She is trying. She is trying. Elbow to the back. She says it's over. That's how she sets it up. That gut wrench lift, dead lift, that Carolyn lift, spinning sit out, dragon bomb. She calls transfixational pain to. Three and she got it. And your winner of the match is Mungu Wabahadi. Congratulations. Right back to where you were. She will be facing daylight. 98. Who did you steal the show? Did you three steal the show? She'll be facing daylight at unfettered vengeance. Congratulations. Will she achieve her gene dream? Will and, and, and her dream is just to be the best. That's her dream, to come from Africa, where promotions were dying, to come here and be the best. Competition is what she wanted. Competition is what she's getting. She's been feeling that burn for a while. Can she finally break that glass and get that title and make Daylight a transitional champion? We will find out next week. But right now, we've got more action. We got Shadow Federal in action. Let's roll. This is the match for the mixed division. Making her way to the ring from Germany. Unquenched rage. Shadow Barrows. And her opponent, representing Deadly Wrestling Alliance Sisterhood. And one half of Dinardea Goten. The Brain Mangler, Turquib. The referee for this match, John Hilton. Fight. And oh, okay, okay, she's gonna just start off. Okay, she's like flying mail. Let's calm that down. If you have it seen humble talent wrestling i suggest you check it out i suggest you check it out it's, i mean talk talk about somebody leveling up their company finding their own path finding their way of doing things you know trying to figure it out what's what's happening and why it's happening they're 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 doing it a humble talent wrestling they are doing it you can find them live on twitch um 
You can also find the archives on YouTube at Humble Talent Fire Pro. You know, you can find them on uh, you can find them on Twitter at HTW Fire Pro. You know, check 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 that out because the reason I'm saying this is because they they've been having some great matches. You know, great events. Commentary is solid. You know, it's it's just just check it out. Check check it out. You know, the commentator up there is John Newby. So you know, hey, it, it, it's a worth. And and Shadow Federal's his mother, Claudia Fest is up there, and she's been running rough shot. And wow. She she is a beast. I can't stand her. I do not like her. It's just that's you know there's just some people who's like it's, it's kind of like Ted Cruz. You just want to punch him in the face and but here comes Gibby Maru. Give up. Give up. And I mean talking about somebody wanting to bring a fight to someone that's bringing a fight. Man, she got rid of Ted Cruz like she was two, nothing. She's like I'm gonna three. fixate on you. And she's like bring it, Gibby. Huh. Yeah. Body blow, this. Ooh. Man, they, they tried something in the corner. She was like, no. Nah. Speaking for a headlock by Shadow Pharaoh. And she got her name, uh, her 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 surname sake in Germany by the fans there. Huh. And she earned that name. Her mother tried to discredit her that on Humble Talent uh, Wrestling. What they got her, they got a hijacked pile driver. Five minutes or Spike Power Driver uh, said in the United States. Ooh. Taser chopped from behind. And Gibby is gone. She, she's going to the back. Give up. But will Turkey be able to weather the storm? That is the unquenched rage of Shadow Pharaoh. Man, she nailed it there. Man, nice uh, pendulum backbreaker. Side buster and insult to injury. Man. Oh, she got an elevated reverse DDT. Oh, Turkey got right up. Nailed her. Ooh, uppercut to the throat. Body blow. Turkey is starting to mount some kind of, I say, medium offense here. You know, medium meaning it's, it's sort of a stalemate going back and forth here. No one gaining or losing ground. She gives chase to the outside. Oh, left-handed punch right to the face. She got the chair trying to find room. Can't get it. Get back in the ring, y'all. This is not a no DQ match. She got nope, toe kicked her out. They both feel the nails about this match. Yes. One, two. two. No, not yet, not yet. Oh, hit her with that lariat, knocked her straight down. Elbow to the face. She got her up, she got her up, plants her down. With that soup, that brain buster slam. Okay, she's gonna drag her from the corner. Oh, tore that brain up. That dominating Ooh. pin. No, she's like, get up off me with that foot. What? Slaps her. She's like, that title's coming here. And yeah, this is the mixed division. This is Master of Four. This rank two, if if Shadow Federal goes up to rank two, um, that pushes Turk up to three. And that would push Lilian Leon out. Whoa, just a two count. So this is a highly important yes. match. Elevated DDT, that underhook DDT. She goes for the pin, rightfully so. Two, three, and she got it. And your winner of the match is Shadow Pharaoh. And she goes to rank two. Come on now, damn it. Damn it, girl. Referee, stop her. Get out. Stop moving out the way, John. Do something about it, man. Do something about it. All right. So congratulations, she has secured herself in the Master of Four. Vicky Williams should be placed at four. Millie and Leon should be at five. So their match 
who is is a do or die for them to get into this big event. With that said, everyone, their match is next. Let's roll. Making her way to the ring, representing Destroyers of Anatomy from China, and one half of Tuan Dui Tijia, fixated exploit, Lilian Leo. Making her way to the ring, representing focused aggression. And one half of Texas heads, the Texas plancha, Vicky Williams. The referee for this match, the Larry. Fight! Okay, and hey, this is do or die at first this was going to be for the mixed division this is going to be rank four versus rank three and what they had agreed to on the back and I got the note uh, yesterday that if there was no change in the previous match they weren't gonna wrestle they weren't gonna hurt each other and you know just beat each other for no reason when there's gonna be no no chance of anyone being pushed out so they weren't going to hurt each other and then ruin their chances of even competing at the big event. But since Shadow Federals won, this means that rank three has become rank four and rank four has become rank five. As you can see up there on your screen, Lillian Leon being pushed out. Vicky Williams is now defending her rank four slot. And that, that's, that's why I use the ladder rung system and competition that's why i use that is this this is major you know because right now because do you think about this right here Mila leon let's say she doesn't win that's okay she don't win everyone that does lose at the big event is going to drop down to the bottom of the ranks in the mixed division and Mila leon will then be ranked two just automatically if whoever ends up rank five is going to end up rank two at the end of the big event. Problem, that puts a hell of a target on your back. And if someone within 10 ranks of you, you wants to go ahead and say, hey, well, actually like this, I think it's 17 and some change. So yeah, they got, they can jump up to rank two. It, it puts a heck of a target. And sometimes they, they will come back to back to back. They will keep trying. You know, so it'll be basically rank uh, three down to 20 that will be trying to challenge her, roughly, thereof. That's basically off the top of my head right there, everybody. So, I mean, personally speaking, I would rather win this match and go to the big event. And if I lose, I go down to the bottom, fine. I can work my way back up. Instead of being at the top and then having every, you know, every single heavy hitter coming at me back to back, I couldn't deal. I couldn't deal. That's 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 more stressful than defending your title. And then Vicky Williams, you mainly see her in tag team action, the little that you can see her. Right now, there's so many tag teams that they are practically overshadowing Texas Harris. And Texas Harris, they've been kind of they literally said they're going to put themselves kind of on the back burner because they want to really get a, a, a scope of the land here, you know, watching and, and all this other stuff. And I don't blame them, you know, scouting every piece of the talent, seeing what they're really up against, uh, and then, you know, jumping the water full bore. I get that. You know, you, oh, man, Lone Star Press. But she, she, you know, in the ropes, in the ropes. Ooh, basement drop kick. She's working that knee. Mila and Leon, you know her. There you go, another basement drop kick. You know how she get down. She's dangerous in this area. She is straight up lethal. And yeah, she's gonna take a little chill pill right there. Dragon screw. She is, yeah, yeah, Vicky's getting out the way, trying to find, Dragon's Crucifix. Vicky is trying. 
Dicky is definitely trying. Dragon screw. What's she going for? Oh, Gorilla Clutch. That leg is hurt. That leg is hurt. How much longer can Vicky Williams hold out? Basement drop kick. Dragon screw. She is putting a clinic on that leg. Guru Kamara infiltrated by Vicky Williams. Two. No, just a two count. She's, she's feeling good. Coming off the ropes. Off those ropes. Nope. Why are you teasing? Why are you teasing? Are you going natural boy master just, just getting your workout? That leg is hurt. Why can just run for no reason on it? That just don't make any sense. Power bomb. Nope. Triangle choke counter. Milan Leon had that, had that scouted. Ooh. Knee drop to the forehead. And there she go, past the guard, Gigi Katane. Big Williams got a great ground game. She's got a good submission game. She really does. You've seen her win multiple matches with the Texas Clover hole. You know, you rarely, I mean, she's got a high flying game, but it's not as strong as everything else. And there she go, she got scouted again. And and she's, she surrenders. And there's Beijing. He got stopped. That match that match ended before he could get to the ring. And he's up there. Probably feeling bad. Your winner of the match is Lilian Leon. And, uh, yeah, I can, I can see that he might get a brow beaten for that one. I don't know. I don't know. But, hey, it is what it is, right? You know, can't do too much. Hey, we got a three-way match coming. One more three-way match. That'll be the last one today. <laughs> you know, I'm, I'm not one of them that's going to throw a bunch of three-way matches at you. You know that. You know. Hey, that's just me, though. That's just me. So, with that said, everybody, let's roll. This is your junior heavyweight three-way elimination match. Making his way to the ring from China. Representing Destroyers of Anatomy. The backdrop lover. Beijing King Grand. And his opponent, from France, representing Deadly Wrestling Alliance Sisterhood and one half of Dinar de Goten, the Graceful Butterfly, he may show Leru. <laughs> and their opponent, ranked one in the junior heavyweight division, from parts unknown. Representing natural born, natural born tyrant. Referee for this match, Mr. Senior Junior. Okay, here we go. Rank one, two, and four. Rank three is the current reigning champion. That's plush. She was ranked three when she, well, I mean, they done beat each other. She was ranked one when she won the title. But, yeah, they, they've been beating each other. And, and, you know, when she takes a loss, then someone beats her, then someone beats that one, and then someone loses, it just keeps going. That's why I like the ladder rung system. You know, champion, I think the lowest a champion has ever been was, like, rank eight, I think. I think rank eight. Ah. Uh. Oh, don't get me lying here. Nope, rank five. That's the lowest that I can recall. Proof positive. That's the only. That's the lowest I can recall. <laughs> and that that was in the tag team di uh, division. That was like when we first started. <laughs> so that's a long time ago. And these three here, Beijing Chingren is like usually the rank two master. 
Well, I mean, tournaments he come in second rank. Not in the, not in Typhoon's in this year. No way. But you know, natural born tyrant after a long injury from uh, being put out by Emerald Storm, he came back and he came back with a vengeance. So, I mean, and he got himself, you know, he got himself up there to rank rank one. You know, Vimesho Leru, he, she got a win. And then he got a win over her, and then there you go. Give up. Matter of fact, now I recall, Milian Leon was ranked one. Plush did was was to go against her but before that V Michel Leroux defeated Milian Leon so Milian Leon was you know right you know she was ranked one, uh rank one got defeated and then plush defeated her so she was ranked two plus became ranked two V Michel Leroux was still ranked one natural tyrant worked his way back up he defeated V Michel Leroux to be ranked one pushing plush down to rank three there we go you know i ain't i ain't that old now my memory is still all right at points you know so you know carolyn lift slam and then you know good measure stomp by v may show that roof tying with the elbow beijing warding off that double team go behind single leg whoa 180 back drop stomp to that arm for good measure And here you go. Did a check on her. Okay. Single leg back drop. Hammer throw. Just, just getting out of the way. Inside cradle by Tyrant. One, two. Go behind. Back drop. Boot scrapes. Body blow. Go behind. Back drop. He's he, he going to run him out. Headhill Western Lariat. That was with authority. Give up. Full Nelson. Daging's up. Sacrifice. Oh, good grief. Damn. Man. Somebody should have tried to pin that man off of that. What in the world? Unadi backdrop. Boot scrapes. She mosey her way over there and did that. Uh, is she in the ropes? Right. Yeah, it ain't look like it, but she's in the ropes. Ooh, shoots her outside the ring. Put him in there. Lariat. Two. Three. Four. Five. Good grief. Put her in the corner. One, two, three, four, five. Finish. And Beijing Chingren interrupting anything that he could do. After that combo, I'll be trying to get Vimesh a little out. There's Plex. And he got the Go. chair quick. Three. Crack right Four. inside the head and then to the back. Two. Trying to, I mean, doing his best to get that advantage. Maybe it's enough. He wants to secure one. Ooh, Thez Plex. Lou Thez, everybody. Lou Thez. His final matchup was against Chono Masahiro. He's the one that he trained. He trained Chono. Ha. Mr. G1. Oh. Shoulder buster. He got him up before she could apply anything. But stomp on him. The back of the head, boost scrapes? Has she done that? No, no, I don't recall. I don't recall her ever doing that. But I mean, hey, every time somebody gets to the button to the ground, she's gonna try something like that. Those boot scrapes. Oh! Interrupted that. Well, not too much. Right. I thought Boost Grace was coming up. Does he like Boost Grace? Go behind. Unadi back drop. Oh, he's tired. Elbow to the back of the head. Multiple elbows. Multiple elbows. Multiple elbows. Stomp to the back of the head. Butterfly lock. Give up. Save or submit. Save, up. submit, or escape. Which one? Escape. Got up. Unadi back drop. Oh, you think I was like his third or fourth one? Go behind. Single leg high angle back drop. 
Beijing Ching and oh, nailed him right around her. And, oh, he tried to target her, but oh, giddy Give giddy. Give up. Driving that elbow to the side of the head. Doubled up on that backdrop. He is exhausted. That don't mean he ain't dangerous. There's Plex. Kid Clutch. Oh. Giddy giddy. He's, he's, he's sizing them up. Oh, and then hit that hard part of the ring. Oh, and he put her in the corner. Beijing China is trying to get a rest. Two, three, four, five. Oh, just missed that punch. Take down. Spin. Put down. Butterfly lock. He's exhausted. How much energy he have left? Oh, a save. Why? Beijing China is proven to be one of the most dangerous wrestlers in that ring. I don't know why you would save him. He just one suplex or kid cuts away from any pin. Two. No, not yet. I would not be saving him. And yes, everyone, this match is not that minute. It's 45 minutes. 45 minutes. Oh, she went for it, but he single leg trip. He says, come here. Put him in the corner. Got him. Body blows. Oh, backsplash. Now, giddy, giddy. He's working on him. Working on him. Irish whip. Well, the hammer throw actually. Single leg backdrop. No, elevated backdrop. To focus on Tyrant. Oh, Fujiwara. Fujiwara just snatched her in it. Give up. Now, he put that on Beijing Ching, then Beijing just might tap. He just might tap because his arms have been worked. His neck has been worked. And she's working that arm. Working that arm. Working that head, too. Ain't nothing graceful about this butterfly. Down to the back of the head. Ah! She's got that old. Oh, return clothesline. Back and forth they go. Oh, punch to the face, punch to the right in that arm. She is tattooing that arm. Oh, Larry laid her down. That might be it. One, two, no. Oh, that was close. Just got the shoulder up. Referee, <laughs> Mr. Senior Junior says. He says finish. He says One, pinfall. Two, three, and got it. Rank four is the first one gone. It is now down to rank two and one. Two being B May Show and one being Tyrant. Mount position. Give up. No, the open hand. The open hand. Can Give she up. weather the storm? Can she? Yes, she can. Yes, she can. Race the face. Tyrant wants to retain. He wants to go against Clutch. He's been wanting that title for the longest. He's always been a threat. Give up. He has he has worked his way from being a fool to being on time. And he's trying to prove it. Uh-oh. She just might have him. No. Oh, slams her down. Rolls him over. Floats. Got a butterfly lock. Can he weather the storm? Can he weather the storm? He, she's got that on tight. And yeah, he does. He holds on. Gone. Oh, they got plenty of time. This is not going to time limit. I can promise you that, everybody. I ain't going to hip toss. Put it to the corner. Race that face right across the ropes. And giddy, giddy. Give up. Give up. No, no give up. Not yet. Not yet. That hammer throw got him in there again. Working that face. Let him know. Look, I can get down and nasty too. Go behind. Standing switch by Tyrant. v show. The rabbit punch to the back of the head. That's a break. They're from the way for the rope. Shoulder buster. He don't look well. He don't look well. Butterfly lock. And he surrendered. And you're winner of the match. And going on to face clutch that unfettered vengeance is V-Bay Show Leru. Congratulations. Oh, what's up with the three ways doing this? What y'all doing? I'm glad you're doing it. All right, we got that. 
two more matches remain. <sighs> Next is a grudge match for real, y'all. Let's roll. Making their way to the ring. Representing reality. First, Haley, your first threat. Life. And his partner, Haley, from your final breath. Death. This is reality. And their opponent, representing Deadly Wrestling Alliance. First, Kaya Jin. And his partner, Muto Turka. They are Team DWA. The referee for this match, Mr. Senior. Five. Whew. Man, I was I was all flummoxed over here. Oh, I do not have my water. <clears throat> uh, I'm still reeling from from what death did to me Thursday. Even though I did have to wrestle with Kaijin against Tandui Tijiao on on uh, Saturday, <clears throat> it's still there. Usually I just try to mute the mic so you don't hear any coughs, but I I, I do not have my water. Oh man. No, it's, it's, it's not COVID-19, y'all. It's not, you know, I've, I've said that before. It's not COVID-19. I got to, of course, I would like to think I have to go out to get it. But then again, you know, ugh, I don't know. I, I just don't know. I mean, an airborne, an airborne virus, you just, I mean, it's going to get in the ventilation systems at some point, right? You know, but you, you do the best you can with what you got. Stomp to the leg there. You know, reality trying to, I mean, wow, they tried to just bulldoze their way into rank two. And like I said, you know, at the special event, I hope y'all caught the special event so you can be tied into a lot of things. Double suplex right there, death to the outside. And, and two, I, I thought I was giving chase. I, I don't know what I'm doing now. I guess I'm on one. the apron. All right, then, I, I, I'm on the apron. Ooh. Low kick, middle kick. I don't know. If, I don't know. I'd have to tag out. Death is like, no. Nah. And see, Death has been hounding me for so long, choking me out, hurting me. Double suplex to the outside, yes. All the spillage. Oh, serious headbutt by life. Shoulder thrust. Kaiser and Death on the outside. Just with the chair missing. Oh, he got him. Got him. I have no idea what life went to the outside. I was too busy focused on my partner. Oh, body blow by death. He makes the tag. And a headbutt after that punch. These two, I'm going to just tell you straight up, I hate them, but I have to give credit where it is due. They work together like a well-oiled machine, like the most cohesive unit on the planet. It ticks me off that they work so well together. Give up. A little soon, but you know, ooh, that uppercut was just missed. Give up. Elbow to the back of the head. Death nailed him. Now I don't want anyone getting death confused with the death from CAWF. That that death is heavyweight champion there, and you know, he lost to to Armageddon and he wasn't able to get his, his mojo back and yeah! pushed out of the Dark Alliance and and ultimately, you know, just gone from the show after, you know, he got bamboozled by former members of the Dark Alliance that reformed without him. So that's yeah! that's wow, you know. And honestly I, I liked Death on C he was he was intimidating, scary, vicious, and he just it just went away. I mean, he, he blossomed so rapidly and then just went away. Whatever he's doing out there, I'm sure he's I'm sure he's making people cry in corners. I'm I'm guaranteed of that. 
You know, that choke in the corner, look at it. Yeah, kind of glancing at life, like, what you gonna do about it, buddy? Figure four leg lock applied. Give up. And life gets in. Looks like that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna take my chance. And I'm calling Kaiju for a tag, but they are not letting him get that. Nope, Kaiju's gonna go after him. Shoulder arm breaker. Oh, yeah, he comes over. Makes the tag. Oh man, nice machine gun high kicks. To no avail, good grief, this is brutal. Thigh kick, stomping, thigh kick. Head control, bring him over to the corner, cut the ring off best that one can. Nice, nice way to keep him down. Work that leg. Keeping him on the mat. We're doing what we can. It's a 30 minute time limit match, everybody. 30 minutes, thigh kick. Another one, death is out the ring. Yeah, now he's gonna go make the tag. That's what I'm talking about. They be waiting on each other. They be, life stalled Kaiju just long enough to be able to go and make that tag. Get there you up. go, Boston Crab, that reverse Get Boston up. Crab. Oh, sleeper hole. Man, yeah, they they won on, on uh, Saturday with that double suplex, but not to the outside. Oh, he got him. Butterfly face buster. And death with the pin. That's what I'm talking about. Oh, he just kicked out because I could not help. I could not help. And he's got him up. He packaged, cradled it. That got style power driver. I am dizzy. And I got to get out the ring. Kaijin is holding on. Kaijin's holding on. You, you know what you see in the ring right there? There. Ah! Dual taunt. You're looking at three former heavyweight champions. Give up. Death from the road. Give life up. from from here on TV as well as Kaijin. Me, the only title I've ever held was the Master of Four title. Give up. Give up. Kaijin needs to make a tag. And he does. Words off that double T. Man, help me out. Don't be Northern Life bomb out of nowhere. What? With the backdrop to stun death and no. Sleeper Get choke. Up. Can he hold out? Yes, he can, especially when he gets saved. Sleeper choke of his own. This is not looking good for us. Side headlock, yeah. wrenching on it, Kaiju with the save, rolling knee bar. He trapped death with that one. Maybe I got him. One, two, and three. Yes! And your winners of the match Muto Torka and Kaiju TDWA. Yes! Not the revenge that I wanted, but it's good enough. Good enough. Congratulations. Yes! I did not want to commentate my own demise uh, again. All right, we'll be going against Queens of the Jungle at Unfettered Vengeance. Uh, I hope you do well, at least. Because if you don't know Queens of the Jungle, then you need to watch the road because they are lethal. They have defeated almost every single team except Cold. They beat them once. And then they lost. That's literally it. <laughs> so, uh, if we can win these tag titles, I'll be so happy. I'll be so happy. In any case, main event time, everybody. Let's roll. This is your main event of the evening. And it is for the women's division. Making her way to the ring. Representing Daily Wrestling Alliance Sisterhood. Hija Daily Matriarca. Soberana. Draganes. And coming in rank two, from China, representing Destroyers of Anatomy, 
and one half of Tuwa Dui Tijiao, beautiful intellect, Lei Li Ji Li. Your referee for this match, Chuck Goose. All right here. Now, yeah, there was a flood. Uh, I wanted to just be honest and upfront. Before Sobrana, she took on Hair Queen, and Hair Queen was slated as rank two. But due to websites and stuff just being haywire and going down and not fixing what I put in there, I really did. I rely on that. So, hey, it didn't acknowledge her as rank three it put her at rank two instead <sighs> and i went with that you know and normally i don't ever have i used to double check i became trustful so i stopped double checking so i have to go back to, to distrusting what i do now on websites sadly this website i don't know how well it's going to be i have to check after the end of this show i have to check at the end of the show Hosting or just might be screwing me over and stealing my money. So I'm going to have to, you know, John Nubai found, uh, he went to Wix.com and made and transferred most of his stuff over there. So that's what, that's what he's done. And I'm going to have to probably follow suit because I don't like being stolen, you know, from that. No one does, you know, well, some people find it funny, but I, I, I'm just not one of the people because I need that money. I do, and I used it for that. So, yeah. So Soberana, we're correcting it, and Soberana Dragones is going is at rank three after defeating Hair Queen last week. She'll be going against now rank two. So we're doing our best to correct the mistake. And back and forth they go. Chops went out. <laughs> Ground Dragon Screw, another Ground Dragon Screw. So far, this match has been back and forth, relatively even therefore of, you know, so it's all good. But right now, the tide is turning. It is in Lady GD's favor. Soberana Dragones would love to be in the big event along with her compatriot, uh, you know, Vimesho Leru. Um, <coughs> it's me. Definitely Turquil would be Five in it as well. Gone. So Sisterhood is trying to get on the rise. Maybe after all the brow beating that the matriarch has given, maybe Soberano's like, hey, I need to make sure that they get up there. Who knows? Finally, we saw something new out of the Show that Uh Turquil lost, but you know, how bad could it really be, you know? She's still gonna be in the big event. Ooh, shoulder knockdown right there. Man, drop Toho, that spinning drop Toho. Ooh, backsplash. Ooh, slap, turns around. Push whip. Manhattan drop. Ooh, spinning back fist. The Uraken. Oh, she busted her open. She is really busted open over that one. Just barely kicked out. Dragon screw. Ground Dragon Screw. Maybe GB still fighting like a warrior. She got her down. What would she do with her though? Dragon Screw. That leg is torn up. Ground Dragon Screw. Circling, circling. Sobrana is trying to figure out her plan of attack. Sweet kick. Can't get away from it. Ground Dragon Screw. She is tearing that leg up. The referee's getting a small break today. And who in the hell is that? She's wearing uh, DWA colors. She ain't on my list. Hill hook. Who in the? Who is that? I don't recall anyone being on the roster like that. No one knew it signed up. I don't know who that is. Um, maybe you just gotta fight off both of them. That leg is hurt. That leg is hurt. Inside step kick. Whoever this is ain't helping out too well. 
got a heel hook over her. Still on her saving it. And she's ripping. Why you? I don't know you. And she goes for the pin. No, no dice on that. Oh, she waited for her. She just kept running until she got up. And now, on. oh, reverse heel uh, knee bar, reverse knee bar. GD is just a bloody mess right now. Snap suplex. Stomping. Low leg kick. Jeannie is tired. She's the first. She was the year of the beast women's champion. With a few good uh, defenses. Brought that here. You know. Oh. She knows Jeannie. That blood loss has got to be getting to her. It's got to be getting to her. It's just spreading on her. That this. I don't know how much longer GD can hold out. She's got to put her away immediately. She got that heel hook in, and she surrenders. And your winner of the match is Mayne G. Lee, despite the outside interference. What a warrior. I, I don't know who that was. I don't know. But it did not work out. Soberana Draganes will not be going to the big event. She will not be facing the matriarch like she wanted to. That will be Meili Jeevee who will be trying to get that title back. I don't know who to, how to explain who that was. And if I'm not approving somebody, they don't need to be here, period. There might be some investigation or just might be some, you know, so Ron, you might have to about lose your job because I don't like this. I don't like this at all. You better find another leader for sisterhood. You better start looking into that. In any case, I'm gonna get up out of here. I hope you all enjoyed this event. I really do. A lot of stuff caught me off guard. A lot of things, I don't understand certain things. I'm gonna have to figure it out. I don't get it. I'm, I'm at a loss, so I don't know exactly how to tell y'all much of anything other than I just gotta get out of here. This has been Cedric Kennedy for CR Wrestling, CR Wrestling Commentary, CR Fire Pro, CR Fire Pro Road, Pain and Agony Wrestling, all that good stuff down there in that description and stuff. Check out all those people down there that, that's in the description. Thank you for your time, patience, energy. Thank you for watching. Thank you for listening. With that said, good night, everyone.